All right, guys. Last one for the week. We're at pattern-collections.com. We're going to go to Pattern Focus to find the last pattern of the week, which is going to be Starfish Goes Grid by Nicole. Alrighty, let's see. Let's go back one and see if anybody else has a video on this. New, new video. Okie dokie. I'm the first. Let's see. So, this would be uh, Nicole's pattern Starfish. And apparently then she tried it in a grid. And came up with this. We're ending up with something like this. Not these orbs at the bottom, but we're, we're looking for this general thing here. Um, I may, I'm going to have to do some sort of interesting something for, to make, yeah, yeah. We're going to have to think about composition here. So, step one. We're going to make a dot grid. Yes. No. I can't tell. Yes. A regular dot grid. And the dots are in pencil. So you just need a regular dot grid to get started. I am notorious for not being able to do a good drawing of a dot grid. So I will be drawing a regular grid using my pencil and then you know, make my dots or make my reference and then getting rid of the, the pencil parts. Okay, just FYI. So then we have our dot grid and we're going to do diagonals. Okay. And it's important when we're doing this one that we don't do just like a line all the way from here to here. We want to go dot to dot to dot. That's important. And then the next step appears to be doing verticals. Hmm. Okay, so that's not a regular dot grid, is it? Yeah, it is. So if you were to draw, if you were to draw here and here, this would be a square. But since you're not drawing that one and that one, it makes this big, long uh, diagonal diamond shape. That's very interesting. Once you have that shape in, then you're going to come from here like a triangle, but don't hit this line and then go straight down here and then straight down here and then straight down. That's step one. And then the next thing we're going to do is come this way. Come over and like that. And then we're going to do this one again. And then we're going to do this one again and this one again until we filled up that space. And then it ends up like this. So, let's give this a go, shall we? I'm going to turn on my light. Oh, pardon me. I'm going to give myself a little border here. What time is it anyway? Oh, it's almost two o'clock. Wow. Day has gotten away from me. I'm going to give myself sort of a swoop there. And I'm going to do my grid off of that line. So I'm going to do here and here and here like that. And then straight up. Like that. 
Okay. And then basically my dot grid is going to be here. These are my dots in the corners of where I just drew. Okay, there's my dots. Because I am really, really, like, really bad at dot grids. So, just starting out with it that way. Oops, that's not the pen I wanted. I want this one. Okay, so step number one is we are going to do diagonals from dot to dot. Since my since my grid's in a curve, my dots, even though I go straight, my dots end up at an angle that's kind of curved. So far, so good. And now I want to do my verticals. So I want to do just this part. So far, so good. I am going to actually erase my grid at this point. I'll leave my border. Let me erase my grid. Just so that it doesn't confuse me. Okay. Next. Wrong pen again. Okay, step three. We're going to take... And we're going to go from this corner, kind of like we're going to draw a triangle, and then we're going to go straight down. So, like that, and then follow this line, whatever angle that happens to be. Since I did this weird kitty wampus grid, it's going to be a kind of a weird kitty wampus angle, but... Okay, so far, so good, except for I'm missing something. This one's missing, it's missing something right here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then the next step is this one. So now we're going to go up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over. You don't see it all. And then from here, And over and over 
Ooh, that got really big. Okay, and this would be kind of okay, and then the next step will be this one again. not a hard pattern. You just have to keep track of where things are. Um, like that. And then top again. We're not going to see that one. Any more? We do a couple of those. Okay. And then let's finish off this tile by doing what? something interesting. Uh, how about something like that. And then perhaps doing an aura of that. And then perhaps, 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 perhaps. Perhaps we'll go all the way to here and we'll just bring all these lines to that spot. I'm happy with that. Okay. And then perhaps in here we will put some lines. That's 
it's pretty teeny. I'm good with that. You good with that? I'm good with that. Starfish goes grid. I drew starfish when it first came out, but I don't think I ever drew the this one as a grid. That, that's fun. find my pencil. And then down here, I think. Something like that. Just gonna use my big one. Like that. And a little bit of soft blending right here. I think I got a bug bite on my cheek. We've stirred up a lot of the critters that live in the dirt. as, And, and I'm discovering some... We're discovering bug bites. Yeah, the critters are not happy with our construction. Highlight that main one, that first one. Let's see if that's a good place to highlight or if I need to highlight more. I'm going to start with that one.
Beautiful. She's pretty. I think she's done. You scooch way in here. I like it. Looks like, uh, you know, gives me the, the feeling of underwater and yet like theater. It's, it's very cool. I like it a lot. All right. You guys have a great day. Have a great rest of the week. You know, today's the last day of the week. Start a new week tomorrow. Um, yeah. I do believe this... I was going to say I believe that this was going to be on Mother's Day, but I think not. I think it's actually going to be released the week after Mother's Day. The one for Mother's Day was last week, and I didn't get to mention Mother's Day. But the United States Mother's Day is coming up, just FYI. And if you are a mom, happy Mother's Day. If you have a mom, happy Mother's Day to your mom. If mom is not in your immediate journey, um, somewhere along the way you had a mom or you wouldn't be born, uh, you know, not everybody has a dad. I mean, even you have a father, you have, you have a, a biological sperm donor, but, and, and, and same thing with moms. I mean, you, there are those who've been given up for adoption and, and, or whatever, and, and they don't know their biological moms, but you know, somehow you were raised. And I would say 95, 98% of us were raised by some female who is the mother figure in your life, whether it's your mom, grandma, aunt, uh, adoptive mom, stepmom, somebody. There's, there's usually a female figure in your life who raised you or helped raise you. Um, you know, celebrate them. Tell them how much you love them. And... Um, you know, appreciate the fact that they've done their best. They may not have been perfect, but they've done their best to give you a a life moving forward. And if some of the things they did were not things that were uh, good for you, um, you know, if you are now an adult, you can um, work on mothering yourself and getting to a new place and um, finding resources and support where you can uh, move forward in your life. But you can still look back and say, you know, even if things were really bad, uh, you know, look on the good things. That you're here. That you have the opportunity to change your own destiny, your own lifestyle, your own path. And... Um, yeah, we got to be grateful for the things that we have, right? Um, I had a great mom, but we had struggles. We had difficulties. It wasn't always easy. and um, But she always supported me. She always told me I was um, able to do whatever I wanted. And she always supported me, even if some of the things I wanted to do seemed really strange or stupid for to her. She always let me do them. Always. And I am so grateful for that. And art is one of those things. I always had art material. I always had drawing supplies, crayons, pencils, paints, um, were always accessible to me. And, um, they might not have always been the highest quality because we couldn't afford much, but you know, birthdays, Christmas, art, art supplies were always on the, on the list. So I am so grateful for that and um, yeah even though this video will be a week late from Mother's Day um, I'm thinking of mom today and uh, hope you guys if you still have mom around and she's still part of your life and and she's part of your life that that is not a hurtful part because um, I know there there are people out there who who mom and you just are, cannot get along and, and 
and that that's not something that you embrace and I get that and I'm sorry that that has happened in your life um, but for those of us who have moms that we really love and appreciate uh, reach out and give them a hug and tell them that you love them and you appreciate everything that they've done for you and um, and I will see you guys later bye bye